coming home Call me Elvis I'm here all alone I didn't leave the building I can't get to the phone Call me Elvis I'm here all alone Well, tell me I was calling Just to wish you well Let me leave my number Heartbreak Hotel Oh, lovely tender Baby, don't be cruel Return to sender Treat me like a fool
please remain standing for the presentation of colors and the national anthem. You may be seated. Good evening, and welcome to Southeast Bullock High School. We are honored this evening to welcome Mr. Wilson, school superintendent, our Board of Education members, and members of the central office staff. Thank you for being here with us. We'd also like to recognize our faculty and staff who have inspired, taught, coached and encouraged our students throughout elementary, middle, and high school. Family members and friends, thank you for being here this evening to participate in this once in a lifetime event for our seniors. Seniors, welcome. On behalf of everyone who is here tonight to support you, let me share how very proud we are of you for what you have accomplished at Southeast Bullock High School. When you entered ninth grade in the fall of 2019, probably a little afraid of what your high school days would look like, I am sure none of you ever imagined that in a few short months, our world would change in ways that none of us could expect. We never dreamed that in March of 2020, the world would shut down. And while we educators scrambled to design a new framework for school, you students persevered. Some of you thrived in the world of virtual education and decided that is where you would best succeed. Some of you returned to in-person classes the next school year as sophomores and demonstrated your success there. But all of you have shown us in the years since then that you have the tenacity to overcome daunting obstacles to find your success, not only in the classroom, but on the fields, on the stages, in your clubs and churches, and within your vast friend group. While I hope that along this journey, we have made you better students and better citizens, I want you to know that you have made us better educators. Because of you and your journey with us, through this process of change, Southeast Bullock is a better place for all our students. And for that, you should feel a true sense of pride and accomplishment. Seniors of the class of 2023, 
congratulations on your graduation. We wish you all tremendous success in the future, and we can't wait to see how you will change the world. I welcome to the podium senior class officers Weston Calhoun and Anaya Robinson. Thank you, Dr. Mizell. It is our pleasure and honor to be here with you all today to present the Class of 2023 Senior Gift. The Class of 2023 has had a great experience at Southeast Bullock High School, and we would like to leave the school with gifts to show our great appreciation. I would now like to ask Senior Class Vice President, Anaya Robinson, to present our gifts. First, our class, in cooperation with the Class of 2022, donated our brand new Buzz mascot. Additionally, we made a donation to Project Graduation to ensure that our class has a fun, safe, and memorable graduation night. Finally, we donated SCB embroidered tablecloths to help our school show school spirit. Thank you. Good evening, class of 2023. We finally made it to this day. Where do I even begin? First, I want to thank all of the teachers, friends, and family in attendance tonight for this special occasion. You've helped us, you've supported us, and you've put, our, put up with our nonsense and antics even at the most unbearable times. I think it's safe to say that you have all had a profound impact on us. You've watched us mature and grow over the last four years. You've given us knowledge and memories that we will continue to hold on to for many years to come. So on behalf of the class of 2023, thank you. For four years, we have walked through these hallways. Throughout these years, we haven't just learned about the subjects we've studied. We've learned many other valuable lessons. Southeast Bullock High School has instilled a value to succeed and helped us learn to take responsibility. Even when something seems too difficult to get through, if you have the right mindset, you can accomplish anything. Think about all the things that the students here have accomplished over the last few years. Our girls have won two state flag football championships. Our amazing choir program has won a national championship at Disney, as well as a sweepstakes and grand champion for Southern Star at Six Flags, not to mention class of 2023. We all got through COVID-19 together when our freshman year was cut short and the normalcy of our day-to-day -day lives was taken away from us. These are just a few of the many things this school has accomplished. Who knew that a little school out in the middle of a cotton field could be successful in so many different ways? That leads me to my next point. Never underestimate the achievements. There may come a time in your life when you are stuck. You may have no clue what you are doing with your life or how to get back on your feet. As I have learned from someone very important and influential to me, if that time comes, let the accomplishments you made here push you forward. Let them fuel and drive you to become the person you are supposed to be and to do the things you are supposed to do. It doesn't have to be a huge thing that was written about in the paper or put on the local news. It can be anything. It can be whatever you want. Just find those things that make you think back on your time here and go, yeah, I did that and it was awesome. If you do this during those difficult times, you will find the confidence and strength to continue on. Finally, I just wanna thank all of you again for making these past four years so unforgettable. I will cherish my time here forever. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. I'm sure like most people in the audience, my heart's racing a little bit right now, but we'll get through it. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculty and fellow graduates, my name is Nicholas Langes, and it is with great humility and honor that I stand before you as the valedictorian of the class of 2023. This is a momentous occasion, thank you. This is a momentous occasion that took years of hard work, commitment, and sacrifice. This accomplishment would have not been possible without the support of my peers and family that have helped me throughout high school. I'm truly honored to stand before you and the graduation of all here today. Graduation is something special and something that doesn't happen all that often. I'm sure we all feel some sort of emotion now that the curtains are closing and the show is coming to an end. However, I think it is important to thank those who have helped us along our journey through elementary, middle, and high school. Whether they be teachers, adults, friends, or family, the role that they played into getting us to this moment today will never be forgotten. Let us take a moment to applaud those who have shown us unwavering support and paved the way for our success. <laughs> Class of 2023, took a lot to get here. Today feels like a big exhale. We've been wanting to graduate for so long, but at the same time, we're kind of sad it's arrived. I wanna say that we've definitely evolved since our first year on campus. Freshman year was definitely the most unpredictable of all the years. I remember the seniors looked so big in comparison to us, especially now that we're in their shoes. There was a whole new batch of friends to make and tons of opportunities. While the class of 2020 was getting ready for adult life, we were busy exploring the unknowns of high school. But then, all of a sudden, the coronavirus crept into the state of Georgia. Our schools shut down, and we went home without being able to finish our freshman year. Don't get me wrong though, that first couple months out were awesome. We continued to bond through video games and social media, and we were having a great time. Everyone was so happy to be out of school, and then all of a sudden, everything changed. Sophomore year hit. Some of us went virtual, and others went back to school. I know all of you who went virtual definitely remember Edgenuity and would like to forget it. Our dividing learning community found ways to bond over TikTok trends and new dance moves and hope that things would return to normal soon. Lives differed drastically that year, with some students having seven classes and others only having four. Despite our limitations, our class kept our unity, and we began to head into our junior year. Our 11th grade year, though, was entirely different. We pushed through AP and dual enrollment courses, and the constant sleepless nights made this year roll by very quickly. We branched out into new levels of study, and sports, band, and everything else slowly came back to normal, and friends could hang out again. For the first time, we finally had our first true year of high school. Then senior year, boom, we're already here. That went by quickly. Most of us took a vacation from hard classes this year. The senioritis began, and ChatGPT suddenly became our new best friend. We anxiously waited for our classes to wrap up, and surprising to no one, our attendance took a bit of a nosedive. Showing up 30 minutes late to class was a requirement, it seemed, and we became essay writing experts for college applications. We wrapped up all of our credits and hours and hoped that we got into the college of our dreams. We could finally, for once, breathe. And now we are here. Our graduation is upon us, and we are patiently waiting to throw our hats into the air. Before our graduation walk, I would like to leave you with a few remarks. Reflecting on our journey through life, it is clear that our class has many talents and skills that will carry over to the world ahead. As we move past high school and into the adult world, we must be sure to remember the lessons we have learned through childhood and the times in our lives that have made us stronger. You never know when these experiences will help a friend, a coworker, or even a family member. We must also remember that our lives in the future are not solely marked by our achievements or accolades, but by our humble attitudes and helpful hearts. We must strive to treat each other the way that we want to be treated and to use our diverse array of skills to better the world ahead. As we embark on the next chapter of our lives, we must remember that success is not solely defined by individual accomplishments. It is not solely the titles we hold nor the accolades we receive. True success lies in our ability to make a positive impact on the lives of others, to create meaningful change and to uplift those around us. Therefore, let us attack the challenges that lie ahead with a conscious mind, a compassionate heart, and an unwavering spirit. Let us always strive to better ourselves and to be outstanding individuals. Let us strive for excellence, not only for personal gain, but for the betterment of society as a whole. As we step into the world, let our actions speak louder than our words and let our character define our legacy. In closing, I would like to express my, express my deepest gratitude to all who have been a part of this incredible journey. To my fellow graduates, I'm immensely proud of each and every one of you. Remember that your potential is limitless. To my mom, dad, siblings, and grandparents, I love you dearly, wherever you are out there. To my God above, thank you. May you bless our class and let them grow closer to you and walk in your ways. Let our class move forward with confidence, integrity, and a shared vision of a brighter tomorrow. Congratulations to the class of 2023, and may our futures be build, filled with boundless opportunities and endless possibilities. Thank you, and let the ceremony commence.
We will now present the Southeast Bullock High School Class of 2023 graduates. Please be respectful as each name is called and hold your applause until all graduates have been awarded their diploma. Superintendent Wilson, as well as board members, will join me in awarding the diplomas. Nicholas Alexander Langis. Chaz Charlton Schumann. Zaya Aaliyah Adkins. Braden Chance Aiken. Clayton David Anderson. Adam J. Arsenal. William Logan Barnaby. Courtney Ashlyn Barron. Victoria Lauren Barton. Emma Ivy Bennett. Kendall Jalen Blissett. Dalton Dale Bachnight. Matthew Shane Bowen. Reagan Caroline Boyles. Phoebe Elaine Branch. Madeline Carrington Brown. Moses Christopher Brunt. Emily Lauren Burnson. Weston Joseph McLean Calhoun. Madison Grace Carter. Zoe Jen Collins. Anna Claire Cornwell. Hunter William Cribs. Marley Alexandra Davis. Zachary Ty Davis. Reagan Lindsay Deal. Gage Michael D. Giovanni. Woo! Erica Juanita Dubberly. Fiona Lynn Earl. Candace Nicole England. Lauren Lee Erickson. Destiny Nicole Eskins. Bailey Michelle Evans. Elizabeth Kaylee Evans. Emily Reagan Fowler. Brianna 
Elizabeth Henley. Lauren Elizabeth Hendricks. Olivia Brianne Hendricks. Anna Kate Higgs. Heather Elaine Portman. Olivia Renee Horton. Alyssa Nicole Jeter. Jaylee Brianna Jones. Jude Adam Jones. Braden Michael Kersey. Cohen Reese Kessler. Amelia Lynn Kickelider. Fight the law! Ryan Paul Kickelider. <laughs> David Emerson Lesser III. Lindsay Madison Laracy. Joniah Murray Lee. Eric Bian Lim. T. Tan Nan Lun. Paige Mackenzie Madison. Maria Sarah Magyar. <laughs> Madison Alyssa Masters. Nathan Lee Miller. Abigail Danielle Morgan. Nicole Morgan. <laughs> Skylar Christine Myers. Elizabeth Marie Newham. Davis Winton O'Dowd. Reagan Noel Paget. Claire Olin Pegarulo. Kendall Nicole Pittman. Jackson Edward Rollins. 
JC Mahela Todd.
Alexis Maria Lynn Chavez. Lonnie Octavia Coleman. Tate Bratcher Coleman. Alex Nathaniel Collins. Austin Wyatt Collins. Alyssa Providence Colon. Elizabeth Key Cone. Dylan Joseph Jason. 
Leobardo Rodriguez, Jr. Zachary Michael Rogers. Caleb Andrew Rowell. Amora Milad Rulukit. Aurora Zoe Russell. Jacob Mercer Ryle. Caleb Jared Riles. George Henry Sanders. Taisa Dolores Schul. Clayton Zane Scott. Jontavius Malik Scott. Zania Olivia Scott. Anna Michelle Sellers. Stephanie Janelle Sharpley. Jackson McCall Smith. Jason Dwayne Smith Jr. Lillian Elizabeth Smith. Matthew Nair Smith. Kiana Simone Stovall. Dalton Thomas Strickland. Madison Jonay Taylor. James Wyatt Thompson. <laughs> Alexis Esteban Beldelamar. <laughs> Jocelyn Josie Vasquez. <laughs> Jacqueline Vasquez. Memphis Allen Webb. Lacey Lynn White. Callie Jade Williams. Parker Shane Yeoman.
Class of 2023, will you please stand? Powers vested in me by the state of Georgia and the Bullock County Board of Education. I hereby confirm these students have met the State Board of Education for Georgia requirements for graduation. I declare you graduates of Southeast Bullock High School. Ladies and gentlemen, the Southeast Bullock High, High School Class of 2023. Please join us, please stand and join us as Ryan Whitaker leads us in singing our alma mater. You will find the words on the back of your program. In the heart of Southeast Bullock, as the years roll by, there our hearts are bound together, sealed by friendship's tie. Alma mater, alma mater, may we e'er be true. We will always love and honor, hail our gold and blue. Proudly waves our friendship's banner, Bound into the sky, may we e'er be true and faithful to old Southeast High. Alma mater, alma mater, may we e'er be true. We will always love and honor, hail our gold and blue. 